More details about Kirstie Alley's cancer battle have emerged. We now know that the actress died after a private and quick battle with colon cancer, also known as a silent killer. Here to talk more about the symptoms she may have missed in prevention so that we can all learn from it is Dr. Badan Das with UT Health and UT Physicians. Welcome. Thank you for being here Thank today. Thank you for having me. This is such an important conversation, and I don't know why people freak out so much about this conversation, but it's important to have colonoscopy save lives don't they? No question. You know, we have a lot of other options for screening, but colonoscopy is still our gold standard because the whole point is not just to detect it early. We want to do that. But colonoscopy is a test where we can prevent colon cancer by removing those small early growths called polyps. Mm -hmm. So the idea is if you have your screening colonoscopy early enough, and we're recommending 45 now, not 50, mm -hmm. then you keep having these screening colonoscopies every five years, every 10 years, and sometimes even earlier, then we can remove the precursor lesion and you don't get colon cancer. Hmm. What are the symptoms? Because we mentioned it's often called the silent killer. You don't know you have it until it's too late for some people who aren't going in for their regular screenings. Are there any early symptoms that people can really zero in on and say, you know what, I need to go to the doctor and ask about this? You know, you make a great point. The number one symptom of colorectal cancer is no symptom, supposedly. But there's so many times we tell our patients to listen to their body. So we're looking for a change in bowel habits that's been just persistent abdominal discomfort or pain. If you're having constipation or diarrhea and obviously the fearsome symptom of rectal bleeding. Now, it would be great if you people saw these symptoms, listened to their body, and saw their primary doctor. And that way, you know, there's so many other confounding things we could have, but rather than just leave that to your own discretion, we encourage you to seek medical attention for a brief visit, and then we can take it from there. Well, and so many people are probably embarrassed. It's a hard thing to talk about, but we know that the quicker you get a diagnosis, the better chances you are to survive it if that is something more men men menace like cancer. Let's talk about age here. So Please. Kirstie Alley, 71, but this is happening a lot younger to people these days, isn't it? I'm so glad you brought that up. You know, one of the reasons we've moved screening from 50 to 45 is because in around 2018, they looked at all comers for colon cancer in the United States and we found out that it's happening younger and younger. In fact, patients that are older than 65 had a reduced rate of colon cancer by 3.3% but patients under 65 and 50 even mm -hmm. had a higher increase up to 2.2%. Mm -hmm. So there's a factor in there we don't quite understand, but we know it has to be addressed. And if we kind of look for these symptoms and come a little earlier, we have an incredible chance of curing colorectal cancer. Mm -hmm. So what is your message to people who are 45 and up and have not gotten that colonoscopy yet or are thinking about it? What, what's the first step they take toward getting this screening? Oh, I'm grateful you asked that because I think again there's a stigma that we need to kind of get rid of mm -hmm. and I think people have a lot of fear so I would tell them to go to their primary care doctor and tell them hey I'm of a certain age I need to have a screening colonoscopy where would you recommend I go they can also see a colorectal surgeon or a gastroenterologist we want them to listen to those symptoms and again that 45 date for the usual healthy adult if they have a family member like a first degree relative mother father sister brother that has colon cancer we want them to go in even earlier if there's a concern for a genetic predisposition, again, even earlier. All right, Dr. Doss, very helpful information. Thank you for your time from UT Health Houston, UT Physicians, and I want people to take everything you said very seriously, right? I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Great right. to be here. All right.